Hi guys, okay, so today we're going to talk about gold bullion, uh, where you get it from and how to cash it in and a few of a, a few of extra bits which you probably don't know about. Um, hopefully I can show you some new stuff today. Um, I'll have some chapters in the bottom as well so you can jump to stuff. Um, yeah, let's go ahead, let's start. So the first thing we got is, if you go to your pit boy, you can see something called stats. Okay, so that's where your left trigger there. Um, okay, and then you've got something called collections. And you'll have gold bullion in that section there. Um, 10,000 is the maximum you can actually have. Okay, so we'll go to the first location um, to do with gold bullion, which is foundation. And if you've been here before, you probably know this point. This is the fast travel point. If you've not been here before, then... Foundation is located, you can see, towards the, almost at the bottom of the map. Um, normally when you go here, you have daily tasks, sort to ward if you've done um, reputation. Okay, and there's your foundation there. You can fast forward this if you've been before. And you would go all the way right to the very, very top. Okay, so we've got two points here for the gold bullion. So we've got somewhere to spend the gold bullion, which is Samuel. And then we've also got the machine to cash it in. Um, if you've never used these before, pretty straightforward. Click A to use. And then if you just tap your uh, right bumper, you'll see inventory. I've got 126 treasury notes. Um, I've cashed in 20 so far today. Uh, so I've got bottom right, it says 380. Normally I have 400 you can cash in every day. Okay, at the moment I'm, I'm on maximum 10,000. Um, if I was on 10,000, all you best do click A to sell it and then click your quantity there. This is just telling me that I'm at maximum amount. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Um, let's go over to the first trader for the gold bullion, which is Samuel. Uh, you can interact with him if you want to, or you can click X to trade gold bullion. And it's just like going to normal trader. Uh, on the right hand side, you've got all the um, items which he sells. You've got the lunch boxes. You probably know what they are. They're to get the XP. Perfect bubblegum, which means you don't have to eat or drink anything for six minutes, which gives you a better AP. And then you've got all the plans. So you've got quite a few things there. Um, these two you can earn from a quest. So I wouldn't bother buying them. Um, these are nice for the camp, camp, weapons weapons and then you got add-ons mods for the ego shotgun um okay hellcat which is um another um power armor okay and then you've also got jolly bellow he is a comedian um so he's one of your allies that's probably nice to get i've got that one it's quite good fun actually four thousand does take you a while to get okay and then pepper shaker mods okay um, tubal fer fertilizer, which will do the plants. Uh, if you're growing plants, the tubal fert will instantly grow. Don't think worth getting. Water well. Okay. So that's the first trader. Um, what I'll do is I'll just buy one item, I think. Let's just buy a lunchbox. 100. So I've got 990, and I could go back to there if I wanted to. Go press machine, and then. Very easy to buy. So you can do up to, as I said, up to 400, four, well, it's basically 40 um, treasure notes. Okay, right, so that's the first location. And then what we'll do is we'll go to the next location, which is going to be up here. And that's the Raiders Camp crater. So there's a machine up there as well and a robot. So that'll just take a second to go through. So if you've never been here before, so the raid camp here, they will attack you if you're not allies with them. Uh, the allies is on the top, you can see there. You've got to have full reputation um, to be able to do the trade with them with the gold bullion. Um, okay. And then if you go through to this part here, you can see there's a machine all the way up there. Go into the crater. Okay, and then we've got 
a trader for gold bullion who sells items. He's robots. He's like he's Mortimer there, and then we've got the another gold machine to trade. So if you're in different areas, you can do that as well. You'll notice on the bottom right, it's still at 280. So it's not 400 at each trader. It's just uh, each, each gold press machine. It's just 400 in total for the day. Okay, so he d sells different items and foundation. You got carry weight booster, so that gives you plus fifty carry weight for thirty minutes, and lunch boxes as well. Um, Armco ammunition construction. Okay, that's definitely something to to get because that is that will actually make uh, ammunition. Chemist backpack mod. That's worth doing. Uh, if you if you carry lots of chems, I'll drop it down by ninety percent. It's a little backpack mod um, for your rucksack. Dynamite to be able to blow things up and the bundle. Okay, gauze minimum, which uh, minigun, which is really good fun, and you've got the also on the mods as well. Hellcat, um, power armor, jetpack. Okay, and pepper shaker stuff as well. Okay, so he's Mortimer, right? Okay, next location we've got uh, for to do with gold bullion is in here, and it's the Wayward. So we'll nip down here. So what we've got is a cowboy that sells gold bullion to you, uh, regardless of uh, anything else, and he'll sell you a certain amount every week. It does reset every week, so we're just going to meet him now. Um, and this is the wayward, so you'll know the robot if you've done the quest. If not, up there. Okay, and then you'll see Smiley, and basically interact with him. And you can do. So you click on interested, yeah. Okay, and then for 6,000 caps, you can do 300 or less if you've got less caps. Okay, I'm not going to give 300 because um, I'm up to my 10,000 limit. Okay, so he resets every week, once a week. Okay, he's located up here. There's a few junk items around these doors. Okay. Right, um, next thing. Okay, so we've got the Overseer's home. If you've never been here before, it's located. You can see Wayward. There's the vault. So it's just up the tracks there. Okay, and talk to Davenport. And what basically happens is, he'll give you a daily task and you'll get gold bullion notes uh, for doing it. So he's one of the few things that you get gold bullion notes from um so you've got some dailies um will give you in some won't this is one of them that does so we're just going to him now and uh, it's pretty straightforward to do this um task and you've got to have a camera so i'll just go downstairs um you need do need the overseer's basement key if you've never been here before there's a little thing you need to do um but if you have it's down there Okay, and here's Davenport, and then the, you've got the Overseer. So what you do every day, um, start a little day with him. And once you've done the daily, he'll give you uh, some treasure notes. Okay. Okay, so the to get some more treasure notes, um, basically you have to have an event uh, to go off. So on the bottom left of your map, you've got daily orbs got previous um, events which may have gone off and then you've got these events which have got the exclamation marks so these are the ones that will give you treasury notes um, you can see on there potential rewards unique crafting recipes outfits legendary, legendary items cores and then treasury notes so if you do see an event which has the exclamation mark on then that will give you treasury notes and then you can cash them in um, the more you do then the more you get, uh, you go. You are going to be limited to four hundred uh, gold bullion per day. Um, so it's worth doing if you if you're going to play lots of events one particular day. Then it's worth um, doing as many as you can. And then the following day, you might not do any events, but still just log on and then still get four hundred. Just go to foundation, take you a couple of minutes, uh, cash it in, um, or if you go to the crater. That's what I do. So it's sort of a quick log on machine. Uh, basically, if, if I'm busy on a Friday, for example, one of my busy days, I'll just go on, just quickly go on and quickly cash them in. So I'll get that 400. So potentially looking at seven times four, 2,800 
per week. So you can see that it's going to take you weeks and weeks, uh, months even, to get certain items. Um, took me a long while to get mine on and off, but uh, that's the grind. Um, there is some people saying, well, you can do this, you can do that to get certain things. Yeah, no, there isn't. You just have to do the grind. Um, it doesn't take long to do. I sometimes play lots of events at the weekend and do nothing through the week and then just pop on every day to that 400. Okay, hopefully you got something out of this. Uh, if you can like and subscribe, that'd be really good for the channel. And um, see you again.